Hey, this is Doug from Doug and Nikki, and oh boy, is it a hot one here in Southern Florida today. In front of me is a cool new product, which I'm gonna unbox for you. Then we're gonna test it out. We're gonna torture test it. And then I'm gonna come back, give you a Doug score from one to five, let you know what I thought of it. This is the Bodega Car Fridge with App. This is a portable refrigerator. You could also use it as a freezer, which has an app so you can control it via Bluetooth. And it is designed actually for certain models of car. It is like a perfect center console um, for ours. We have a Chevy Tahoe and I think it will work perfectly between the two rear bucket seats uh, and so that's what we're gonna do today all right let's take it out and then I'm going to we are going to the beach today so I am gonna actually take this install it in that black Chevy Tahoe we're gonna go to the beach on a hot southern Florida day I'm gonna put some drinks and fruit in here and leave it running in the car all day and see if I come back to a hot mess or to nice cool refreshments when I get back from the beach. This is, uh, oh, I can tell already, this is if you were gonna permanently install it somewhere, whether it be in your car or I guess you could actually, a boat might be really good use for it because it's a uh, 12 volt DC. Um, this would be a mounting plate which has tabs on it so it is not permanently locked in but it snaps it in um, so it's safe and not going to move but at any time you just hit the tabs you could pop it out take it out either to put it somewhere else take it portable or if you wanted to take it out and really clean it that kind of thing whoo this thing's cool looking oh i am excited about this oh there was something else i wanted to tell you let me pull it out Okay, so a couple of the super cool features. It has wireless charging. If you're using it as your center console, you can just put your cell phone there, assuming you have that technology. It will charge while sitting there. Uh, you have the controls right here where you can adjust it. You can adjust the temperature, all that kind of stuff, connect to the app. Here is another USB charging port. How cool is this? Because obviously it's designed to be a center console in a car. Here is where your nine quart refrigerated area is. I would say it's perfect for the kind of thing that I'm talking about. Nikki and I are going to the beach. We could put a couple drinks in here. You're gonna put uh, some fruit, maybe a sandwich or something like that, and it will keep it refrigerated. Maybe if you want it's a little bit of ice cream, you could put some ice cream in there and turn it way down, use it as a freezer. This is definitely like a creature comfort kind of thing. This is not like a, van life you're going to use this as your main refrigerator this is just like a really cool you get in your car at the end of the day and pull out a couple really cold sodas or drinks or adult beverages if you want to do that in any case here's what's what i'm going to do i'm going to install it in the car we're going to go to the beach torture test it and then i'll come back and we'll all take a look together and see if what we put in here is actually cold or if it has turned into a melty mess because it will be a bazillion degrees in that hot truck in the sun today all right let's go do that Just so you can hear how loud it is, I'm putting my microphone right up against the fan. It is definitely, uh, I'd say, average quiet as these things go. It is certainly not loud in any way, shape, or form. It's not silent either, but totally reasonable for what this is. Obviously, that's gonna be in freezer mode. We want it to be, we're gonna do nice refrigerated beverages, so we're gonna keep it uh, four degrees above freezing. Um, and we'll set up the app so you can see what that's like. Again, this is what it looks like just right here in the back of our Tahoe in a quick install to go to the uh, beach. Okay, we got a couple waters, a couple sodas. Let me show you what that looks like inside. Oh, yeah. Water, 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 a couple sodas. Okay, so that's what that looks like inside the unit itself. This is actually, I'd say it's perfectly designed for a six pack. I should get one more thing and then you could put some food on the top and ooh, I could already feel it's getting cool in here. 
that's really pretty impressive. Who is it hot out? One more thing, I'm gonna take my cell phone, which is at 50% 50 50 power, put it here for the trip there. Oh, look, it just went into charge mode. How cool is that? All right, I'll let you know how far this goes from 50% on the way to the beach. Oh, look at that. So we can adjust the temperature in the fridge. I still think that should be about perfect for a frosty beverage when we get done at the beach. You can choose if you want it echo mode. I have it in max mode because this will be the max test ever of something like this. It gives you the current temperature. It's down to 68 degrees already in the fridge, which is awesome. All right, let's check back with this a little later. Okay, this has to look weird because it's dark out, so I'm actually sitting in the back of the truck with the refrigerator so that we could see how it did through the course of the day. And actually, okay. I didn't set it right because the water is like a slushy. So after a blistering hot day in the back of the truck at the beach, the water is somewhere close to frozen. The battery worked fine on the car, not like no drain at all on my car battery, so that is all good. And then let's see if the cell phone charges itself. 100% charged itself perfectly. Okay, so then this has to be a full five out of five on the Doug score for an awesome unit. This is really cool. If it, if it survived this and froze the water all day in the sun in Florida baking, that is definitely a great unit. I hope that was helpful. We'll see you next time.